So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint, but my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer. I just think this is one of the best eyeshadow primers. Then I'm going to set it using a little bit of a powder, and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly powder in the shade Vanilla. Then I'm going to use the shade Cake Face from the Life's a Drag palette by Lunar Beauty. And I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. The brush that I'm using is a MAC 242, which is a very nice flat shader brush. I'm just softly pressing this underneath the brow bone. I went in with the shade a few times to make it as white as possible. Then I'm going in with the shade KK, which is a very vibrant pink shade. And I'm going to blend this all over my crease. And the brush I'm using for this is the Sigma E40, which is included in my collaboration brush kit with Sigma Beauty. I have it linked down in the description bar. Then the next shade I'm going in with is called Snatched and I'm taking a Morphe M506 brush which is a very tiny blending brush and I'm going to blend this in my inner corner area and in my outer V area and also in my crease to create that dark halo effect. Now to darken it up even more, I'm going to use the shade Shady, which is a matte black color. This is one of my favorite black eyeshadows. It's very pigmented, but it doesn't have a lot of fallout, which I really like. So it's really easy to use and applying this in my outer V and inner corner as well. Then I'm going back in with the shade Snatched, which I used before. Just going around the edges to make sure that there are no harsh lines and that it looks as blended as possible into that pink shade in my crease. Then I'm taking the shade Legendary, which is a very gorgeous gold shade, and I'm going to press this in the middle part of my eyelids. You know, when you create a halo eye look, you want a very light shade in the middle part of your eyelid, which creates that halo eye look. I know this isn't a very light shade, but it will give me that pop of halo, if that makes sense. Now I'm taking this purple shade and I'm going to blend it around the edges um, to make sure that it blends into the matte shades that are next to that legendary eyeshadow. Like normally I would probably go for a reddish or pink shade to do this, but I felt like why not use a purple and give it a different twist. Now for my eyeliner I'm using the Sigma Wicca Gel Eyeliner which is a simple black gel eyeliner and I'm really liking this one. I applied a thin line above the lash line, then I'm going back in with the black eyeshadow and my Sigma Flat Diviner brush which comes in my brush kit with Sigma as well and pressing this right underneath the lower lash line. Then I realized why am I not applying black pencil in my one line. Normally I always do this before applying sh shadow underneath the lower lash line. So now I'm going back in with the black eyeshadow, I just did it in a little bit a different order, normally I do it different. But but it doesn't really matter. At the end, it will look the same. Now I'm going back in with that pink shade and blending this underneath the lower lash line, trying to blend it into that black eyeshadow and a little bit lower so you really have a smoked out lower lash line. Now I'm applying my mascara, which is the Lights Camera Lash Mascara from Tarte Cosmetics and applying some fake eyelashes and then my eye look is already finished. Mm -hmm. 